Okay, today I'm going to be reading The Berenstain Bears Go on a Ghost Walk. Papa Bear always loved Halloween. He loved going trick-or-treating when he was a cub. He also loved going on haunted hayrides when he was a teen. He loved giving out treats to trick-or-treaters who came to the treehouse. But this Halloween was going to be the best yet because he was in charge of the Bear Country School Ghost Walk. Yes, sir, he said, I'm going to put on the best ghost walk ever. May we help, asked brother and sister Bear. Absolutely, said Papa. I'm going to need all the help that I can get because this is going to be the spookiest ghost walk in the history of Bear Country. Now, dear, said Mama Bear, I know the ghost walk is for a good cause. That's right, said Papa. It's for the benefit of the Bear Country School and every cent from the ticket sales is going to the school. That's all very well, dear, said Mama, but I do hope you're not letting yourself get carried away. My dear, said Papa, that's what Halloween is all about, getting carried away. Come, Cubs, we're going to the party store, goods store for supplies, and afterwards we're going to stop off at Farmer Ben's Pumpkins Patch. Ben's donating some of the pumpkins for the ghost walk. With Halloween coming soon, the party goods store had everything Papa needed. Let's see now, he said. Ghosts, skeletons, bats, black cats, cobwebs, scary masks, and spooky tapes to play on the school's loudspeaker system. Then, turning to the store clerk, he added, Do you have a nice big spray can of cobwebs? Just this large economy size, sir, she said. That'll be fine, said Papa. We have a whole school to cobweb. Farmer Ben's pumpkin patch was in all its orange glory in the afternoon sun. Greetings, Papa Bear, said Farmer Ben. I put aside some of my best looking pumpkins for the school ghost walk. I appreciate that, Ben, said Papa, but good looking pumpkins aren't what I had in mind. Don't you have any weird misshapen ones? Sure, said Ben, over here behind the barn. I was going to grind them up for the hogs. Perfect, said Papa. The other ones are gonna make the spookiest jack-o'-lanterns. Papa went right to work on the jack-o'-lanterns. When he got back to his shop, just scooping out the insides was a lot of work. He soon had a whole trash can full of pumpkin innards. Spooky enough for you, said Papa, as he finished the first couple of jack-o'-lanterns. Plenty spooky, said brother. Y yes, said sister. But not as spooky as the pumpkin monster, cried Papa, scooping up great gobs of gloppy innards and running after the cubs. Help, they cried. They bumped into Mama, who came to see what was going on. Please, Papa, she said. What are you trying to do? Give the cubs nightmares? It's all in fun, said Papa. Maybe so, said Mama. But try to remember, one person's fun is another person's nightmare. But Mama, said Papa, Halloween's supposed to be scary. Come, Cubs, said Mama, back to the house. It's time to start turning in. Gee whiz, said Papa, as he headed back to his shop. Nobody wants to have fun anymore. Everything's got to be nicey-nice, goody two-shoes. Well, I'll show them. Woo-hoo, said an owl that was perched atop the shop. Me, Papa Q, Bear, that's who. Papa said and went back into the work to work on his jack-o'-lanterns. With just a few days to go until Halloween, Papa and the Cubs went to work getting Bear Country School ready for the ghost walk. They put Papa's super spooky jack-o'-lanterns in every classroom. They hung skeletons, bats, ghosts, and black cats in the corridors. They festooned the whole school with cobwebs. Since this was a school ghost walk, Papa thought it would be a nice idea to include great monsters of bear literature. Using masks and old clothes stuffed with straw, they made the Frankenbear monster and Grizzilla, the bear vampire. Then they borrowed some ace bandages from Coach Grismere and made a bear mummy. Are we done, Papa? asked Sister. There's just one more thing and we'll be ready for the ghost walk, he said. 
I want to try the spooky laughter tape on the school's loudspeaker system. Then he started the tape and the whole school was echoing with spooky laughter. Soon it was the night before the ghost walk. Brother and sister were trying on their costumes. Brother was going to be a super bear. Sister was going to be a princess. Baby honey was going to be an angel. Mama decided just to wear a mask. Papa's going to be in charge of the whole thing, said brother. What's he going to be? You'll see in a minute, said Mama. He's in the other room changing. Black Bear the Pirate, cried Papa, leaping into the room. The meanest, scariest, bloodthirstiest pirate to ever sell the seas. And was he ever. He had a hook on one hand and a dagger stuck through his skull and a crossbones hat and a big sword dripping blood sticking through his chest. Brother and sister were terrified. Baby Honey began to cry. Papa, said Mama, how could you? Don't you remember what I said about one person's fun being another person's nightmare? But dear, said Papa, they're not real. They're just a trick hook and dagger and a trick sword with fake blood, see? He took them off and showed how they worked. It's just for Halloween. There's nothing to be afraid of. It's all for fun. Maybe so, but that night all of Papa's Halloween fun came to life in the scariest nightmare he ever had. A hideous, gloppy pumpkin monster, the scariest skeleton, bats and the black cat, the creepy ghosts, the Frankenbear monster, Grizzilla, the bear vampire and the ace bandage mummy all came after him. Yee! Terrified Papa threw off the covers and leaped out of bed screaming. Brother and sister came running. They and Mama comforted Papa and tried to calm him down. I, I think I see what you mean about fun and nightmares, he said. Bear Country School Ghost Walk was a great success, and a fine spooky time was had by all, even Black Bear the Pirate. He kept his trick hook, but left his dagger and his trick sword with the fake blood at home. The end. Thank you.